Outdoors Del Marva covers everything outdoors, including real fishing and hunting situations involving wildlife. We do our best each week to bring you tasteful content, but viewer discretion is advised. Now, enjoy the show. You're watching Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. This week, we're showcasing a few of the vendors you'll meet at the DSN Outdoors Expo, like the Delaware Forest Service. We'll head to Preston to find out how much fun yard work can really be at Bell Creek Equipment Company. We'll head to Somerset County to meet a coppersmithing couple in this week's Remembering Scorchy Taws. And we're not barking up the wrong tree when we head to Felton to meet a true woodworking artist. Outdoors Del Marva starts right now. Welcome to Outdoors Del Marva, the show dedicated to a commitment of conservation and to the community that makes Del Marva's outdoors such a hidden gem here in the Mid-Atlantic. My name is Jason Lee and we are here inside the Kent Building at the Delaware State Fairgrounds in Harrington, home of the DSN Outdoors Expo coming your way next Saturday the 22nd. And speaking of timelines, don't shoot the messenger, but your 2022 taxes are due by midnight on Tuesday. This is Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. And now, here's Jason Lee. If you have ever enjoyed any of Delaware's outdoors, the men and women of the Delaware Forest Service should be atop your gratitude list. So the Forest Service is based off of science, naturally, much as every other agency has some type of science-based um, uh, method, methodology that they like to use. We practice forms of civiculture, which is managing the forest for timber, managing it for, for forest health, and also looking at it in terms of wildlife and recreational opportunities. So it's a really 360 approach that we take when it comes to managing the forests. That goes hand in hand with our urban forestry program that manages on a single tree all the way up into larger wood lots that might be passive or uh, active open space uh, in a homeowners association or around a public uh, park area. Uh, we provide a whole host of activities uh, and outdoor recreational opportunities. Most people don't realize that the Forest Service resides in Delaware under the Department of Agriculture. Uh, we own a little over 23,000 acres that is open to all types of outdoor recreation. The biggest form of outdoor recreation that we're currently seeing essentially is the hiking, the horseback riding, and naturally the hunting. Um, with that, we have four core federal programs that we operate within our state. We have an urban forestry program, a wildland fire program, forest stewardship program, and a forest health program. And with all that, when we take it full 360, uh, we manage all types of woodlands, um, all the way from the urban forests, all the way to rural forests. We have 22 full-time staff, uh, about three to four casual seasons, depending on the time of the year. A lot of those employees are based on uh, our three state forests, which is Blackbird State Forest, Tabor State Forest, and Redden State Forest. With that, we manage 27 federal grants, along with a whole host of state funds in order to be able to provide those types of opportunities for our users. We take on a surge capacity of wildland firefighters that we hire through an agreement that we have with the USDA Forest Service uh, and anywhere from 40 to 70 firefighters uh, for out west type of opportunities are hired annually. There's a lot of state ground out there. You know, it's under conservation and it's there for future generations. So I think if we can get our younger generations involved, whether it's hunting or even as simple as bird watching. It's their form to use and we welcome that. The Delaware Forest Service will be at the DSN Outdoors Expo next week, so make sure that you stop by and you tell them thanks for all that they do. Still to come on the show, we'll head back to Scorchy's Corner to meet a coppersmithing couple from Somerset County, but up next we're making yard work a whole lot easier at Bell Creek Equipment Company in Preston. Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. We'll be right back. You're watching Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Welcome back to Outdoors Del Marva. We're headed to Bell Creek Equipment Company in Preston to get a preview of what you might see at the DSN Outdoors Expo. 
here at Bell Creek Equipments in Preston. And I'm with Kevin Lyons. Kevin, uh, good to see you, Matt. Good to see you. Uh, so, so tell us, uh, you've got some great things going on here at, uh, at Bell Creek. What is it that is really getting people excited about the new spring season? Well, we got a bunch of new equipment in here. We uh, got a bunch of different new bad boys and new Spartans with uh, bigger engines and uh, a lot better ride. So it's got a you know a lot better ride technology that uh, a lot of people really want comfort. They're really looking for comfort as they cut. So that's been a, a big selling feature. We also uh, have some new CF Moto UTVs in now, and the Envy. The Envy's been when we can get it has been a uh, a big hit. It's a fully electric vehicle that will allow you to travel about 38 miles on a charge, and up to speeds of about 22 mile an hour. We have two uh, full-time parts guys here. We have five full-time technicians. So uh, this, you know, it's grown into quite the business, and uh, and we're very happy for that. So it really is a one-stop shop for you. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yep. We service everything we sell. We're gonna go out, and you're gonna show me how to how to work these machines. Mm -hmm. I, I I use a push mower. I, I'm old school, but you know what? There's gonna there's gonna come a time that I'm like I don't want to get out here and push anymore. So you're gonna teach you're gonna show me how to run some of this. What are the, some of the things that you're gonna take me out on? Well, we've got a couple. Of, I've got a Coyote UTV out there. I've got uh, some CF Moto UTVs, and uh, I've got some compact tractors, Coyote compact tractors, and we have some zero turns. So it uh, just will show you how user friendly everything is and simplistic it is. Those who are, you know, seeing this across Del Marva, what is it that should really drive people from their homes to Preston to come see you guys? Well, I, I think the biggest thing is is we're a family business, and uh, our best is the least we can do for you. And uh, we try to strive to make that happen. And uh, we're all about, uh, you know, uh, customer um, satisfaction and trying to keep the customer happy. Now you have one special employee here at Bell right. Creek. We do. And somebody that's always in the photo for every sale that you have here. Yes, yep. We have, uh, Charlie's been with us a little over 10 years and uh, she's playing hard to get right now, but uh, she's a uh, yellow lab and she's, she comes to work with me every day. She's here every day. And uh, I would have to say she's probably our our best employee. Employee of the month, every yes. month? Yes, yep, every month, every month. <laughs> I tell you, doing yard work has never been so much fun. Make sure you stop by and see them in Preston, and of course, see them right here in Harrington next weekend for the DSN Outdoors Expo. Still to come on the show? We'll discover the art of chainsaw carving in Felton, but we remember Scorchy Taws when Outdoors Delmarva returns. You're watching Outdoors Delmarva presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Sponsored by Shorts Marine. Welcome back to Outdoors Delmarva. Details are being hammered out and things are really starting to shape up in this week's Remembering Scorchy Taws. Honoring the life and legacy of Scorchy Taws. Thanks to Shorts Marine in Long Neck, Delaware. Shorts Marine, everything but the water. Donald White and his wife Joan or something, there ain't many of anymore, a coppersmith. Now some of you might be saying, what is a coppersmith? Well, I've been trying to figure out myself now for about 40 years. <laughs> to tell you the truth, Scarchy, I've done everything from lying horse straws with copper to making early American Moravian teapots. And everything in between. I'd now don't let old Donald lull you into thinking he's your run-of-the-mill coppersmith who maybe learned this dying art from reading an instruction book. Ah, my friends, it goes a lot deeper than that. Like coursing through his bloodstream the day he was born. Well, I know that my father did it and my grandfather did it, but I don't know, from what I understand, somebody did it before he did. 
and uh, I do know that it's definitely three generations. Wife Joan joined Donald some 12 years ago. I'm just an apprentice, but I've, uh, I've loved it. Right from the beginning, I loved it. You know, some women wouldn't like it at all. I think I'm uh, like a real big part of it because I kind of finish up all the pieces. I do the antiquing and uh, I would do the polishing. The whites can make anything their hearts desire but there's always a first love. My specialty really is early American uh, history. And I, when I look back on it, why my, uh, my work grew along these lines. Matter of fact, a pattern book that I used belonged to the man that trained my father, and it was printed in 1861. And as another matter of fact, also uses the same tools his late father used. Some of them I, I can remember vividly mashing my fingers in when I was a little kid. The White's workshop is an 18th century room attached to their old farmhouse a mite west of Rehoboth, Maryland. That room is small, but their market is big, real big, like Australia, England, Nova Scotia, and gallery-type shops throughout America. Coppersmithing. An ancient craft carried on all these years in our wonderful boondocks right under our nose. Scorchy Toes, wandering our Del Marvelous land for WBOC News. Remembering Scorchy Toes is presented by Shorts Marine, online at shortsmarine.com. Did you know that Redden State Forest was named after Colonel William O. Redden, who was the Sussex County Sheriff from 1838 to 1840? He was also a member of the Delaware House of Representatives from 1840 to 1846 and served as the Speaker of the House in 1843. And did you know that the Redden Lodge, the Manager's House, and the Horse Barn are all on the National Register of Historic Places? Now you do. Did You Know is brought to you by North Bay Marina in Selbyville, Delaware. If you want to find us on the internet, but you're looking for a simple, single location to find all of our links, grab your phone right now, open up your camera, and point it at your screen. This QR code will give you all of our web links right there at your fingertips. If you missed it now, look for it in the bottom right corner of your screen towards the end of the show. Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru, returns right after these messages. You're watching Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Welcome back to Outdoors Delmarva. Now, what we're about to show you is artwork done by a professional and should never be attempted without proper training and safety equipment. Basically, don't try this at home. Coming to the DSN Outdoors Expo is Josh Miller, uh, owner of Artensaw. Artensaw. Art song. Tell us about the company. So um, the name of it is a kind of a little play on words where it's art with a saw and I was actually born in Arkansas. Um, there it is. Yeah. So kind of just a little play on words. All right. How long have you been uh, doing these magnificent chainsaw cars? So uh, I got started probably about eight years ago just by happenstance. Just had to cut a tree down and decided to play around with it and make something out of it. And it was kind of fun. So I did it for like a every other weekend or so for about five years or so and then it really took off how long i mean i i know that you've got various sizes and, and different designs that you do but something like this how long does this take for you to do uh this one here probably about a couple days um a couple days yeah I, I was thinking more like a couple weeks maybe up to a month uh the only one that i've spent um more than a week on would be the motorcycle that i carved the detail on it is fantastic i mean just do you, do you get in here with, with chisels and... So, I try to do as much as I can with a chainsaw. It's probably about 95% chainsaw. And then what you'll see, some of this other stuff in here, I have like uh, die grinders okay. that, that I use little eye tools on and just uh, a little bit of smoothing out. And then I just take a, some sandpaper on a, on a drill and run over top of it and smooth it out and make it, you know, nice to the touch. And you do all the finishing and all the painting? Yep. Talk to us about some of the commissions that people have come to you for. Um, so yeah, down in uh, Chesapeake, Virginia, I've done a, the wingspan on this eagle is 20 feet, but the overall 
height of the eagle itself is about 23 feet in this guy's front yard, soaring eagle. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, I do a lot of big eagles and bears and stuff in people's yards, owls. I never considered myself one of those bird watcher guys, but the older I get and the more I start carving, I'll, I'll find myself just looking at birds and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm one of those bird watcher guys now. But <laughs> you how that works yeah, out. You watch, uh, especially days like today when it's windy, you'll watch birds flying and they'll, when they bank into a corner, you'll catch that pose. And that's, that's pretty much the look that we go for. The Billy Gibbons is, is phenomenal. It was a pretty cool, pretty cool piece. It was, it was just one of those things that I saw. I mean, I've been a ZZ Top fan for a long time, but I just saw this one picture of him playing. And I was like, oh, that would make a great carving. And then when I got the call to come carve at the fair, I was like, well, I got to do it now. Right. They're playing at the yeah. fair. I got to do it now. So I went and did it. And uh, yeah, the fact that he came out, <laughs> it was really cool. So if, if someone's like, you know what, I, I've got uh, I've got somebody in mind that would love, you know, uh, uh, wood carving of some sorts. Um, how how do they how do they reach you? Is it through the Facebook page? They can they can reach out to me on my Facebook page. Uh, message me through there or uh, my personal. I get a lot of people that are friends with me that I might not even know, and they'll just randomly message me about carvings. Or you can always give me a call or a text uh, 443-799-9268. And of course, uh, you're going to see him at the DSN Outdoors Expo on Saturday, April 22nd from 10 until 4 at the Delaware State Fairgrounds. So uh, make sure you come out and see Art and Saw. And uh, you're, you're not going to miss him because you're just going to have to listen for the chainsaw and the flying sawdust. Yep. All right. Man glitter, as we call it. Man glitter. <laughs> I love that. You'll get to see that bear worked on and maybe even completed at the DSN Outdoors Expo next weekend. More details to come when Outdoors Del Marva returns. You're watching Outdoors Del Marva presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Welcome back to Outdoors Del Marva. It's time to flip through the photo album and take a look at your latest pictures thanks to our friends at North Bay Marina. Seven-year-old Case Lester of Seaford is pictured here with his first turkey. Will Dory set out for his first turkey hunt in Delmar and harvested this beautiful bird. Nick Haglick sent in a couple of photos of a great blue heron he saw at the Salisbury Park. Captain Michael White of Westside Volunteer Fire Department sent in these pictures of bald eagles perched up behind his house in Quantico. And Stephanie Montrose added to the Bald Eagle Brigade with a couple of photos she snagged while on a recent boating trip. Outdoors Del Marva viewer pictures are sponsored by North Bay Marina. Well, that's going to do it for us this week. Thanks for watching. Once again, the DSN Outdoors Expo is coming right here to the Delaware State Fairgrounds in Harrington to the Kent Building and to the Dover Building on Saturday the 22nd. It is free to attend thanks to Spicer Brothers, IG Burton, Shorts Marine, and Southern States of Milford. You'll see vendors like the Delaware Forest Service, Bell Creek Equipment Company, Art and Saw, plus Sons of Bow Hunters, the Nova Lure Company, Delmarva RV Center, and more. For details, go online to wbocevents.com. Looking forward to seeing you in Harrington next weekend. But until then, my name is Jason Lee, and I hope to see you outdoors, Delmarva. You've been watching Outdoors Delmarva, which is presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. And sponsored by Shorts Marine. Everything but the water.